Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, hi. How are we doing? So this is going to be a quick blog talking about. Uh, just giving a quick recap, my thoughts that I have right now. Let's shine on. Uh, you know, just have a little fun before I actually do chapter two of the Keys book. All right, so. What's on my mind right now? Well, what's on my mind is is being judged and being in fear of well, somebody might say something mean to me. So how do I deal with that? Well, I need to protect myself and defend myself. That's why I carry a whistle. I also carry pepper spray. And I try to avoid situations of confrontation or you know, physical altercation or, for that matter, verbal altercation. The best way to do that is to have a place to go, to escape to. Unless, of course, you've got to defend yourself or others. When that in, in, in that circumstance, using the warrior perspective, you, know, you, you, you do what you have to do, whether it's use diplomacy or, you know, get physical. And so, oh, looks like my curtain fell. That's okay. Keep going with the blog. Yeah. All right, so... So having a place to go and escape, your own quiet place, that's, uh, that's a good thing. That way, you know, you don't have to deal with people in person because environments are about control, you know, a controlled environment, not an emotional environment in which there might be, for example, a scantily clad woman, woman or, or a person who's saying, you know, things with an unfriendly tone, even like in a professional environment, let's say you make an accident, like you spill some paint where you were painting and the boss comes screaming uh, in. That's not professional. That's not exercising social courtesy. That's not the protocol of, of, of business. Of, uh, and it's to, to use a warm tone the boss might say warmly, you know, if that happens again or since that happened before, you know, I can't have you work today and I'm going to consider laying you off. Well, that's, that's one warm way to put it. And so, guard yourself from harsh words. And one technique to use is the email or text messaging instead of in person or on the phone. So, you, you know, you document your exchanges and you have time to think about it and so do they so it doesn't come as an emotional shock. And I wanted to go into detail about this emotional environment I speak of, such as seeing a naked woman or, I mean, just scantily clad woman. That might make, you know, you think, you know, go into your animal mind, into the maybe the first and second chakra or third chakra and the trick is to take care of the first and second chakra in a safe environment, a controlled environment like the home alright what else is on my mind? well I'd like to create the family unit with Pagliacci, Lady Duck and the Holy Ghost that's what I want right there. This is my my world. You know, it's my realm. I can create what I want. My basic needs are met. You know, I'm not having to lie or deceive people or or sell my body in order to you know survive. So I'm I'm at least at a point in which I can make decisions 
and use my spare time to create my future. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you're in that position as well. Feel free to comment if maybe you think I could uh, provide some insight to, to your position. Remember, I'm consider myself like a philosopher. There, there are many terms that are used to describe maybe you know spiritual doctor or spiritual health. You know, basically it's going upstream down. And when you start in the upstream and spiritual, you take care of the physical because the spiritual is like responding to a situation. It's it's how you react because you can't do anything about what's already going on in the now. You, know, you can only control your reaction. So, you know, and how about some positive stuff to think about, like, like what's the future going to look like? Well, the next step in human evolution, I believe, is the community, and what that means is a real brotherhood and sisterhood, and ultimately resulting in being able to have the masculine dominant man and the submissive receptive feminine and you know what does that look like well that looks like the man goes out to work he holds all the money he holds the identity of the woman in his hands whether he's the father guardian or the or the the husband uh, he, you know, the, the woman's covered like the Muslims do with a burqa. And, and so her identity belongs to her man, either her, her guardian father or, or her husband. And, and so, you know, how does that happen? Well, it happens with financial stability. It happens when the, the, when men can actually get along, you know, they find something in common and not just something superficial or temporal, such as they all own the same car, like a BMW, or go to the same club, or, you know, they work in the same place or live in the same place, or, you know, look the same ethnicity wise. No, there's something more, something missing, and that missing piece, I believe, is obviously God the pure white light I talk about in chapter one of the Keys book. And, you know, of course, in, in, in complementing that is the, is it self-control, you know, religion, its function, its objective, its designation is self-control. So, how do we control this body uh, so we can actually enjoy life and have what we really want, which I'm assuming what you want is what I want, which is which is not a short term relationship, but a long term conjugal relationship with a lot of passion, a lot of magnetism because both extreme roles of the roles are played, the masculine and feminine, and they you know, they they're able to stay together, you know. Um, one last thought. You know, how do you monitor or like oversee or lead this brotherhood and sisterhood. Remember the sisters are all led by men so so the men are the ones who need to have a leader not like a king or a pastor uh, and the, the pastor or king doesn't lead any woman except his daughters and his mate and by the way a king needs to have a a, a, a woman with him, or else, you know, he just can't function as a king. Just a thought about leadership. Uh, you know, you've got to have a woman behind you. Now, what am I talking about here? I'm talking about how do you make sure that all the brothers in the group are are all on the same page, and they're not just once pretending to believe but they're all actually actively participating in the religious rituals and lifestyle that goes along with being a part of this brotherhood uh, so it's not just like like I said superficial like biologically related to look the same 
uh, but rather it's they all believe the same thing and they 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 harmonize their bodies are thinking the same so how do you do that well you know you've got to have some type of leader leadership is always there and I propose that it be like the Brotherhood all have the same doctor or spiritual doctor they all go to the same doctor instead of there being like a pastor or a king which you know I believe everyone should be their own king and queen for that matter and you know be in control of their life and speak religious things speak religious things in their life and not have like a pastor say oh you've got to do the light work but rather they do the light work and they all are in control of you know their their uh, you know their their uh, religion if you will well let's say there is a spiritual doctor and that doctor has a bunch of clients and they're all the rest of his brothers and they all you know they all pay him like you'd pay a doctor and some of the brothers you know they are you know they might be carpenters they might you know be business people or you know workers whatever um, but you see the point is is having all the women at home doing the home chores and be submissive and quiet and and let the men do all the work outside this is the community that I envision uh, maybe you, you agree with what I'm saying if so then uh, post a comment alright thanks for listening excited about chapter 2 which will explain about the origin of the light work and how to use it in different aspects of your life. Alright, thanks for listening. Aloha.